Hey guys, it's Amy and Cream, and we are playing Pokemon Yellow. We're playing it like a boss. We're already on episode freaking 7. And it took us a whole freaking episode to start getting battles done with those stupid kids on the stupid route before the stupid mountain of the moon. <laughs> but yes. Um, we're going to the Pokemon Center because, yeah, we totally got killed. So, yeah, and it was not fun. Or as fun as we thought it could possibly be. Sorry guys, I need a drink of water. <sighs> I don't know why, but I get really thirsty at night. Oh yeah. But if I'm excited, doing common butter race, it's so much fun. I can it's like it's it's I don't know what it's like. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. It's so much fun I can't describe it. <laughs> um all these people today, or at least in this episode. <sighs> oh, what? Yo, yo, man, yo, what up? So we're battling up on Gacha, yay! Caterpie, Caterpie, Caterpie! right now I'm, very, I'm much more talkative just to myself when I'm actually playing the game which now that I got the, the program thing so I can record the video and not have it like screw up and go extra slow because you know blah 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 <laughs> yeah so uh you guys want to be able to hear my reactions to stuff and yeah I'm really excited now I'm sorry you guys I'm like so excited for this it's gonna be really cool I promise to the fullest extent I can <laughs> I'm kind of thinking of what I'm gonna Never mind. I was thinking something else something completely off topic I'm trying to knock out to it completely off topic Now that I think about it, a lot of the sprites for um, Gen 1 and Gen 2 are they're very similar, they're just colored. For the most part. Oh my god, they're just colored! I just realized that, you guys. Most of the sprites are the same except they're freaking colored. Now how did I not think of this earlier? I mean, shoot, I'm 20. I've been playing Pokemon for almost 15 years now. How did I not think about that? I mean, I know I'm not really good at the whole thinking thing, but... I... One of my favorite things that they changed from Gen 1 to Gen 2. You at least get the chance to possibly attack if you wake up. And then... One of the things that I love, yet at the same time I hate about Disable in the older games, it's not always, it's just a random attack. However, I like it because it's not always going to be my best attack. However, it could be my best attack. I know, I'm never going to know. In past Gen 2, Disable will make it so you cannot use the most recent move you used. So if you just use, like for example, if you've got a Metapod that you naturally grew up with from a Caterpie, you use Tackle, and it decides to disable Tackle, you're completely, you're done. Game over, man, game over. You know, it, I wish, you know what, I think they should come up with an item that cures, like, disabled, um, attraction, those weird ones that don't have, like, a symbol. A confusion you can heal with a full heal. Or have something that heals like all the non like where it doesn't have like a status marker. 
because I think that would be a really cool thing to add on and like and add like have it be like for a thousand Pokemon dollars and it'll heal every status ailment including like it'll do your basic stat it'll be basically like a full heal and then some and then they can just up the price on a lot of the other things and I, I think you know I think that'd be a really good idea what do y'all think I, I think that's a sparkly tastic idea Yep, I'm, I'm good, you guys. I should totally go work for Pokemon. I could tell them how they're screwing up by squishing all the games to close together. I mean, shoot. By the time Black and White 2 came out, I was bare. I, I still wasn't done with, uh, why? Because I finally I finished Black. I, of course, I mean, I went to college, so that was obviously another thing. But it's going to be a year after Black and White 2 come out, and then they're going to have X and Y. I think I have three badges on black or white. I have two badges on white too. Like, no crap, people. And, you know, I mean, yes, it's mo 99% of that is because I didn't have time. But now, it's just like, I, I got to play it for like three weeks, and then it's like, oh, well, I've got so much schoolwork to get caught up on. And that's kind of, that was also, I met some of my best friends that quarter, so... I have friends to play with instead of just games. Oh, uh, yay. I decided to say no. Because normally in uh, the remakes, yes, I will buy the Magic Card. Because I don't want to have to spend time having to go back and forth trying to go and uh, get the guy with the fishing rod. Blah, blah, blah. All that great stuff. Heads up, if I randomly walk around a lot, that means the emulator is either going suddenly too fast or it's going suddenly too slow. And I'm trying to get it to unfreeze and unglitch up. Because I do consider it to be glitchy when it's going too fast. That's water again. Because for some reason I always remember that, that TM. Probably because I check it every two seconds. Who's up the team? Can I have a water gun? Can I have a water gun to a Pokemon? I was saying it's like Pikachu can have a water gun. It's so stupid. <laughs> Is it freaking do that? Not as bad as Hot Lips. <laughs> you know when you have to say do that, it's not as bad as something, you know, whatever is, whatever you're talking about is really bad. Or at least to me it's really bad. I'm sorry you guys, I wish I liked Hot Lips. Yay! No! No! It had like my HP left! Are you for sure this one is old man? Blah 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 blah! Yeah! <laughs> do do do! Do 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 do! Do 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 do! I was trying to say no, you guys. <laughs> it's not very effective! Of course it's not! Freaking. Freakity frick attack doesn't freakity freakity work, you know? <laughs> Leech Life doesn't do squat. Unless you're. And the sad thing is that I don't think. I think Bug was good against. Before it used to be good against grass and poison. I think. Of course, I think poison used to be good against Bug, too. I don't know. I gotta look that up. They made a lot of type changes later on. Um. I think fire used to, in Gen 1, fire used to not be good against ice. I think ice used to be super effective against fire. Even though in the updated games, fire is super effective against ice. And I think ice is either neutral or not very effective. Or maybe it used to be neutral. I don't know. I know it's not very effective. Which I think it makes sense to a degree, but at the same time, if it's on a fire Pokemon, it's gonna melt into water. So water is good again. I don't know. I think I think too much. <laughs> I think we uh, well, I think we can all agree on that at least. <laughs> so I'm excited because I get to see my fiance tomorrow. It's really awesome and I'm really excited. I'm sorry, you guys. <laughs> I 
Pack! Kill it! <laughs> I just serenaded you guys and you guys probably didn't react at all. But it's okay. <sighs> I'm sorry you guys, I'm a little bit drowsy. Hmm. a pretty thing for you but it, I understand if you're not like totally sure on how you did so yes we're still bad man and we're doing wonderful things spirit attack missed what carrot I'm reminiscing a bit. Oh no, Spear's dead. Alright, go Pikachu! I think we even spelled out Pikachu. I don't remember. Do we spell Pikachu or Pikachu? It's been a bit of a while since... <sighs> I'm sorry guys, since I played... And I vaguely remember the last episode that we did. So. I shall surely apologize. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I must have been looking up a lot of stuff on Bulbapedia that day. Sorry, you guys, my allergies have been really bad lately, and then it's just making my throat all weird and everything all bad. Yay, we did for the loss! Yay! I lost? Yeah. To the Pokemon Center! To the Pokemon Center! We're going to the Pokemon Center! Pew, 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 bum, bum, pew, 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 Bum bum boop 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 bum 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 bim bum bim bum 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 I tell it, you know if you can't get a girl by singing her the Pokemon Center th theme song, you're not going to win her over. <laughs> don't worry, people who don't know the Pokemon Center theme song, it's okay. I think that you'll, it'll still be alright with you guys, because... <sighs> that was almost bedtime. Oh my god. Yeah, I gotta go to bed at like 11, so I might actually get up at a decent hour. Especially with my back. But still, that's gonna be like tomorrow morning. Is it good? 
Yay, it's not going to be dead. Oh, yeah, it's going to be hot. Crap. It's going to be hot, hot, hot. <laughs> I think it's so funny because, like, there's, like, I, I have my app and it says, like, the real feel, what it really is going to feel like. It's almost never the same as what it really is. It's like, why don't you guys just say that it's going to feel like this because if it outside, it's going to say one thing. It only really matters what it feels like it's going to be because if it feels freaking cold and it's supposed to be, you know, it's supposed to be 50 degrees, but the, if it's supposed to be 60 degrees, but the wind is so cold that it feels like it should be snowing, then you should tell us that it's going to be so cold it feels like it's supposed to be snowing. Now, oh, it's going to be 68 degrees. Oh, okay, let's go on without a jacket. Oh my god, it's freezing. Now I need to go find a jacket and make sure I don't miss the bus or, you know, my ride. <laughs> it's... I know I've had a couple times like that in, uh, when I was at college. It's like, oh, yeah, alright, let's go, go on the school, the school ride. And, uh, you know, it's gonna be great. And then it's pouring rain. I've, and I'll be honest, like, there have been times. If it's if it was pouring rain, I didn't have a car. Um, I mean, I was gonna take out maybe one bag of trash. You know, it, God, I'm sorry, you guys. I'm just bringing up bad. I'm, it's bringing up bad memories, because my most recent roommate, her name was Emily something. Uh, she was oh my God, she was the weird like, not even good weird. Like she was like. You need to put her in the asylum weird, like, bad weird. She went out the window. She claimed that she didn't feel comfortable leaving the keys on the little keychain holder things. Even though that's what they're there for. She said, I was going to steal her keys. Now, why do I need to steal your keys if I have my own keys? Why would I want to take your keys so that you couldn't lock up the door when you leave? She kept saying stupid stuff like that. And it's like, that doesn't make any sense. And she keeps go she kept using the window to leave the house. And she kept claiming, like, one time she lost her keys. She's like, oh, well, I left my keys at home, so I used the window. I'm like, and it's like, dude, I keep telling you, leave the keys out there so you can always be able to find them. And uh, later on, somebody noticed that she actually had her keys on her. She just used the window. And uh, so, that's when I started locking the window on her, and... Honestly, you know, if you're not going to use the front door, you know, just don't use the window. And don't leave the window open all day. I understand because, like, she's a smoker. We're, you're not supposed to smoke in the apartment. However, I didn't like how the freaking, the whole freaking living room would smell like cigarettes after she was smoking on the balcony. So it's like, you know, just go smoke in your room. I don't mind. Just make sure you air it out because I don't. I know you're technically not allowed to. Oh God, she was. And then she wouldn't take out trash. Like she's like, oh well, the first three weeks I took out all the trash. Number one, as long as I was not running late and it was not pouring rain, I would take at least one or two bags of trash out. Don't ask me how two girls make tons of trash. I made sure to take out as much as I could, even if it wasn't even my own, because. Later on, I would have more trash made myself. So I thought, you know what? It has to be a team effort. And anyway, she has somebody with a car. I'm sorry, but I'm not going to count you taking out the trash when it's actually somebody else's car carrying the trash. And you taking out the trash. Because I had to walk. And it's... When it's hot, that trash thing reeks really bad. And then people don't always leave room in the thing to put your trash. It's It was horrible. And then in the end, she's like, oh, well, I'm not going to help you take out the trash. You know, that's none of that's mine. I took, she said she took it out the first three weeks she was here. She came at the end of week five. There was, like, no trash left. So then she think, and I know in the backwards, week 11 was the last week. Uh, me and my mother took it out. Week 10... Uh, my friend, uh, her boyfriend, she and him were visiting and since I was letting them stay over and I was feeding them, they're like, you know what, yeah, we'll take out the trash. And then before that, so in week nine, I took out the trash. Week eight, her friend took out the trash for her. I'm not counting that as her taking out the trash. 
So week seven, week six, that's the only time she could have taken out the trash. It's like, you stupid girl, learn how to count. If you're going to lie to me, at least think of your lie before you lie about it. See? And that's why I, there are some people who just can't lie. Like, I'm not very good at lying. I can tell you that right now. Because I can only think so far. But when you lie, you gotta, if you're gonna lie about something, you gotta think of everything somebody could ask about it. Like, you know, you have to think of every possible excuse, every possible thing that could go wrong or go right. Um, let me think, what else? And she accused me of stealing her food in the end. Here's the thing, that girl labeled all her food. I told my friends, you guys can take any food in the freezer that wasn't, that didn't have a name on it. And I'm sorry if she was, she suddenly decides not to put her name on anything. However, she even let, put her name on her canned food. I don't know, I think, I don't know what was up with her, but. Uh, Alright, you guys, we gotta start wrapping up this episode. I'll be, I'll tell you guys more college stories in the next episode. Like and favorite if you enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see ya. Bye.